when I say that creativity is an addiction, it's a positive and it's a negative. It can do things to you and it can take away from you. Learning to listen to it gives you reason to speak with it, to share a conversation, to build a relationship, because there's no sweeter feeling than having true harmony with the mind, body, and soul. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I don't know, maybe it was a kid thing, or maybe it could have been just a a family thing for me. When you would just kind of just walk up to someone and say, what you thinking? Did you do that? Or are we, we just being weird? I like what people think about. I do it every day that I go into my essential job and I am with my team players. And I know that they are lost in a thought because look, look, I, I live thoughts. I know what thoughts look like on a blank face. What you thinking? Does that sound like a smart butt? Does it sound like somebody who cares? Because if I walk up and say, so what are you thinking about? That, that sounded caring, right? If I say it that way. So what's on your mind? Hey, are you alone in there? What's, what's going on? What you thinking? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess. A chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I sit down and I ask myself, so what you thinking about? What's on your mind? What's in your heart? What would you like to plant today? What would you like to stay away from? What's on your mind? What, just, just, you know, hey, this is our chance. This is our opportunity. Let's put it in a place where we can come back to it and we can learn from it. And, and, and from those lessons, maybe we can help teach somebody else who's blank in the face as well. And then you build a friendship, a circle, a community. What you thinking? This is The Daily Mess. How is it that we allow our thoughts to be some of our greatest investments? But here's the thing. Not all thoughts are positive and or exact. They tend to play things out before something happens. Or our thoughts are associated with a reaction. But what are your thoughts based on? See, this is why I write. To take what's been thought and give it a feel to grow within. I mean, I'm just as guilty as anyone else. I tend to let a lot of thoughts get away from me and or give me a completely different identity. That's when the writer pretty much steps up and wades through the collected thoughts and does all it can to find the root to what the thought was and why. Thoughts always have something to say. But is it the right place and the right time? Thoughts. I put a lot of thoughts on my Facebook page. I take a lot of thoughts down. Sometimes in a matter of minutes. Sometimes in a matter of hours. Days. I go back and I go, Phew, the hell was I thinking? Oh my God. That's the identity part I was talking about. All I was doing was sharing a thought. A reaction. Maybe motivating someone to move forward. But motivating people has gotten me in more trouble because a lot of people don't understand my style of motivation. To get you going. To kickstart that engine of yours. To make you believe in things beyond what you could ever have thought. Thoughts. They get in the way. They can silence you. They can give you way too much energy. False motivation. And then you have to deal with more thoughts. Over and over again. I don't know what people think when I sit with my writing desk on my lap. Books that are stacked this high. Several different ones. Because each one of those journals represents a different layer of thoughts. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. But through it, I try to learn. Why? So I can come here and share with you my thoughts on your thoughts and how our thoughts, we can grow, we can move, we can have, we can also let go. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.